Okay everybody, we're gonna start fixing the pan. I'm gonna use a bun pan. And I am going to brush the bun pan with butter all the way around. Just get it real nice and buttered. Okay, and then we're gonna take our brown sugar, sprinkle it all the way around. Try to get it on the sides. Okay, then just distribute it evenly, best you can. Okay, and then we're going to take our pineapple and spread it in there. So what you're going to want to do is do that. Just spread it around the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we're up to this point right here. We have the butter, the brown sugar, and the pineapple. We're going to set this aside. We're going to take our flour and our other ingredients. We're going to mix them in to get them ready for the batter. So we're going to take our all-purpose flour, our salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And we're going to give this a mix. Make sure everything is incorporated. Okay, now we're going to move over to the stand mixer and we'll get this going for the batter. Alright, in the stand mixer we are going to be adding our butter that is very soft. We're going to add our butter, our white sugar, and our brown sugar. And we're going to mix this until we're light and creamy. We are going to add in our vanilla extract and we're going to add our eggs one at a time making sure it's mixed in between each egg. Okay, it's ready. Scrape everything down from the bottom, from the sides and off the bottom. We're going to add in our flour and we're going to rotate it with the coconut milk. Okay, so I'm going to add about a third of the flour in right now. And half of the coconut milk and we're going to mix it. Start on slow. Okay, now we're just going to make sure that everything is off the bottom. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to pop you back over to the counter. All right, so we have our bun pan. We are going to pour our batter in. We're just going to put it in slowly. Try not to shake the pan too much. Okay, guys, it's all ready to go. Oven is preheated to 350. We're going to probably leave it on between 45 minutes to 55 minutes. We have to check it in between. Everybody's oven is different, so make sure you check yours. It's ready when a toothpick goes in and comes out, and it's not mushy on the tip. Okay, I will be back to show you when this is done. Okay, guys, the cake is out of the oven. It was in there for 50 minutes, 5-0. And just by pressing it, I've already tested it. The toothpick came out clean. I'm going to let it sit in this pan for 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn it over onto my serving platter. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we are going to start the glaze that we are going to use for the top of the cake. And we are going to start with our butter. That's already hot. We're going to melt this. Okay, we are going to add in our cream, our heavy cream and coconut milk combined. Okay, and we are going to whisk this. This has been up here for about three minutes. It has gotten very syrupy, just like that. Just be careful and don't let it splash on you. We are going to add, we're gonna turn this off completely and we're gonna add the rum. Okay, now we're gonna add the rum. And then just whisk it. And that's it, our syrup is ready. And I'm just waiting for the coconut. I have it toasting in the oven. Okay, everybody, we are back. We're gonna finish up this cake. And here's the coconut. All I did was toast it up in the oven. I will leave the time and, and the temperature of the oven in the description box below. Okay, I, I'm gonna get a skewer and I'm gonna poke the cake all the way around on the top. So when we put the syrup, it goes into our cake. 
we take this syrup, which is still hot, and then just drizzle it on to the cake. And drizzle it slow so that it has time to go in to the cake. Okay, and while the cake is still moist from the syrup, we're gonna sprinkle the coconut so that it adheres to the cake. Last but never least are the cherries. You can't have a piña colada cake without the cherries. Okay guys, look at that. That looks delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and cut into this guy so we can taste it. I'm excited about this one. Alrighty guys, let's give this a taste. I'm excited about this one. I know this one is a good one. Mmm, mmm-hmm. This one is fantastic. This really does taste like a piña colada drink. All you need is take a bite of that cherry and you're good. You could even top it with some whipped cream if you really want it to taste like a drink. But this is a fantastic recipe, guys. I had fiddled around with it a little bit and finally got it to where I like it and wanted to share it with you. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give us that thumbs up and leave a comment. That really helps us out here on the channel. And I will leave the recipe and all the items that I use down in the description box. And most importantly, don't forget to share with family and friends. Okay guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.